uh, when I was analyzing relations between Russia and Kazakhstan, I was examining them in different areas, military security, political area, economic uh, uh, domain, which includes trade and investment relations, and also social and cultural aspects, and how these domains interact with each other, and how events in one area uh, uh, influences uh, events in other areas. And I was analyzing the relationships uh, in chronological order, so I've also highlighted different stages of these relationships. There is an interaction of personal uh, factors and also importance of the topic. While uh, Russia doesn't need special introduction, the role of Central Asia in world politics and international relations is increasing. Uh, and Kazakhstan, the ninth largest country in the world and second largest country in uh, the post Soviet field, is particularly important due to its uh, geopolitical location, oil resources, uh, nuclear resources, space station. Uh, and uh, uh, unfortunately now, many, many specialists refer to Kazakhstan as the next uh, uh, after Ukraine scenario of Russia always confrontations. Hence, I think it is particularly important to examine relations between Russia and Kazakhstan. Uh, when it comes to personal factors, uh, originally I'm from Kazakhstan. Uh, I did my master's in Moscow. Hence, relations between Russia and Kazakhstan uh, um, is uh, important for me personally as well. Contemporary Russia West confrontation uh, is, is one of the relevant topics. Uh, also, in, in the era of globalization, it is important to see impact of sanctions on, on Russia on the, on the rest of the economy. And also, since uh, Kazakhstan possesses valuable resources such as uranium, and oil, it is also important to investigate the impact of these relationships on the rest of the world. Uh, in addition, uh, Central Asia is located close to Afghanistan, and uh, there, is, uh, uh, s there are several threats related to security from, from the region, and states still need uh, to, to cooperate regardless of existing tensions. Hence, it is important to analyze the network of uh, relationships in the region for the rest of the world. Given the in increased myriad of uh, controversies in our globalized era, I believe that my book would be uh, of an interest to a wide readership. Scholarly experts, experts from different think tanks uh, and risk assessment agencies, uh, economic, aspect, uh, economic experts, uh, specialists from non-governmental organizations, policy makers, uh, and layback people who are genuinely interested in transitions that the post world world is confronted with. My, my academic background is quite diverse. Uh, I'm originally from Kazakhstan, and my first degree is in international economic relations from one, one of the Kazakhstani universities, Kazakh Academy of Management. Uh, I did my master's in Gima. Gima is the Moscow State Institute for International Affairs, and my master's was in, in world politics. I had my background in economic relationships, and when I was analyzing Kazakhstan's foreign policy, I saw that not all could be explained purely by economic factors, so I was interested in political uh, aspects as well. Hence, I wanted to do my degree in world politics. Uh, later on, I conducted several research courses in Europe, uh, Central European University. I, I worked uh, in, in uh, finance in, uh, in Kazakhstan, and then I did my PhD at the University of Sydney in Australia, at Government International Relations Department. It has been a very valuable experience to work with Rutledge on my book, as my aim was to reach not only academic audience, but also uh, audience related to analytical think tanks, lay, lay, lay back people, g generally people interested in international relations. And this is a unique opportunity t to reach this wide audience. So um, I believe uh, uh, other scholars would be also very interested to, to cooperate with Rutledge. There are several areas that are of particular interest to me. Uh, not only relations between West and Russia, but also more broad trends in the international relations. Um, as a priority topic, uh, uh, I would be very interested in examining relations, relationships between West and the Russia. I'm also quite fascinated with the topic of, related to examining power in international relations and 
different domains of power. Soft power is a fascinating topic in, in particular. So in, maybe one day in the future I'll also be, be working in more global uh, academic teams examining complex notion of power.